Sentry mode activated. Target acquired. Hey everyone, not just hunters. I'm going to be doing another video on Pokemon Legends of Arceus today. Um, I'm going to be doing a type of video which I never really do, which are tips videos. Mostly because they're a little effort dragged out and mostly useless. Hopefully this isn't, and I don't plan on doing more of these for any other video game. So let's just get into this really quick. So this is Legends of Arceus, 5 things you need to know about the changed combat system. First, there are no EV points on kill. They change up how EV works entirely, and it's both good and bad. Originally, just playing through the game, you'd gain EVs and help your Pokemon grow their stats naturally across the board, unless you kind of hyper-focus them early on, which is, I don't know anyone who does that. But because that's not how it works in Arceus, your Pokemon are naturally going to have lower stats than you would in other Pokemon games. So the way you get EVs now are from Grit. You get Grit, Sand, Pebbles, and Stone by killing Rock Pokemon, which is kind of funny to be honest, and then doing uh, your like Apex battles. They have a value of 1 to 9 on your EVs, and I don't think there's a limit to them. Like, every Pokemon can have 9 across the board. So make sure you use, like, all your Grit Sand and put all your EVs on all your Pokemon whenever you want. There's plenty of Grit Sand, and you just get them from, like, mining, random encounters, whatever. They're always around. And you can get, like, all your base stats across the board of, like, you know, 3. And it's really good. It's going to help your Pokemon a lot. Trust me. Don't worry about saving it. Like, you're going to want to save the higher Pebbles and Stone. They're much more rare, like, for your main roster party. But, like, like the sand go crazy you can trade the sand for grit and higher materials it's like a 10 to 1 trade which is not really worth it in my eye but once you don't need sand anymore you can start trading it up but trust me dump all the sand on your pokemon like you will stop dying <laughs> just use your sand get your evs go so second is that Pokemon don't have abilities in Arceus. So Pokemon that relied on their abilities are much much worse off like Arcanine with no Intimidate, Golem with no Sturdy, stuff like that. There's a lot of Pokemon that were good because they revolved around their ability. But with those gone, you should reconsider what Pokemon you want to use and catch. Oddly enough in the files, the new forms of Pokemon do have abilities, so you may be able to transfer these back to like Sword and Shield and stuff. Not entirely sure though, but in game, no abilities on any Pokemon. Third and kind of fourth is that the move pools from this game are not the same, not even similar. There's probably less than half the moves in Arceus compared to like modern Pokemon games. So Pokemon have very small and limited move pools. You're going to be seeing the same attacks a lot. I haven't even seen basic things like Earthquake. So I have no idea what moves Pokemon will have. Now the move tutor is actually very robust with adding moves. You start unlocking more with star ratings in your Pokedex. So check back with her regularly. Each Pokemon can change their moves on the fly as well, you know, from just the menu, which is pretty awesome. I love this change. I hope they keep it permanently. But they also change statuses a ton. So status moves got a huge overhaul. Now they only last three turns, all of them. Buffs, debuffs, status effects, everything. So setup sweeping is kind of a lot harder now, but since there's no PvP, yeah, there's no PvP. You don't really need to focus on that. Statuses like Paralysis, Burn, Poison all fall off after three turns. However, Poison does tick for more damage now to compensate. Frozen has been reworked to be Frostbite, which is now a dot like Poison. Rest does not fully heal, but being asleep is now like a 50-50 using your actions, kind of like Confuse, Charm, or Paralysis, and things like that. And I don't think Confuse is in the game at all. So yeah, they're all different, and if you planned your teams and Pokemon around certain status or conditions, again, you may want to rethink the whole thing. Now, to tie into the last two points, I want to point out that Pokemon are not the same tiers and categories as in previous games. With no abilities, the lack of diverse move pools, no, you know, getting uh, moves from breeding because there's no breeding and stuff like that. And I want to say the base stats are even different, too. I'm not really sure because I can't read the game files, but they feel different. Uh, it could be because you don't have EVs and your opponents do in their stat growths, but some of like the bulkier or hyper aggressive Pokemon don't seem to cut it here in Arceus. Garchomp is great, but he can't smash through everything in the game. So don't think that Pokemon that were bad in previous games are still bad in Arceus. Branch out and try different Pokemon, trust me. And then lastly is that the agile and strong system is both very important and not very important. If that makes sense maybe well um when a pokemon masters a move so they're just by having the move for x amount of encounters they eventually get to choose if they want to attack in agile default or strong state choosing the agile or strong state does cost one more pp so you have to be careful with moves that only have you know five pp and because there's no pp ups now agile attacks have less power typically 10 or 15 statuses on agile only last one less turn and it increases your speed Speed's kind of weird. It's not like you go first and they go second all the time, but sometimes you can go two or even three times before your opponent gets to attack if you're fast enough. 
Strong attacks gain accuracy and power, but make you slower. This doesn't mean you go second now, but rather in like two turns, your opponent will go twice before you. But this speed system kind of also matters when your opponent's swapping their Pokemon. Like if you kill with a strong move, you're slower on priority. So they can come in and swing two or three times before you even get a choice of actions. You cannot heal or use items outside your turn. So if an opponent goes two or three times, they will get all those hits in before you can stop and heal. Make sure you keep an eye out on the turn gauge and manage your agility and strong attacks closely. And because of this, it also doesn't matter too much because you can just do standard attacks most of the time and it'll pretty much be a one to one and pretty much you will. Agile attacks is kind of good for finishing off Pokemon so you can do an agile and then a strong attack or just making sure you can buff up really quick and get your statuses on before you do your heavy swing. Um, but yeah, so those are like my five things you need to know about the combat system before you get too far into Arceus. Thank you all for watching and good luck out there.